The speed magic triangle can be used to help you with problems involving speed, distance and time. The distance goes at the top of the triangle, the speed goes in the bottom left and the time goes in the bottom right hand side of the triangle. So you see it's in alphabetical order. So what you can do from this is write down your three formulas for speed, distance and time. So say for example you wanted to work out the speed. You'd cover up the speed and since D is on the top of the triangle and T is underneath it'll be distance divided by time. So speed is equal to distance divided by time. Say if you needed to calculate the time. You'd cover up the time and you see D is on top and the speed's underneath. So it's distance divided by speed. And say if you had to work out the distance, cover the distance, this time the speed and the time are side by side. So it would be speed times time. So let's look at a simple example. So example one, so let's say a car travels distance of 75 miles in three and a half hours work out the average speed of the car and if you give your answer in miles per hour so all we need to do is look at your triangle so what are we after? We're after the speed so if we cover up the speed, it's distance divided by time. So if you write that formula down, the next thing we need to do is just substitute our numbers into our formula. You can see the distance is 75 and the time which that car takes, it's three and a half hours to cover that distance. We can write that as 3.5. So we need to work out 75 divided by 3.5. So if you use your calculator for this one. So 75 divided by 3.5. So it's coming out as 21.4285743. So if we round this off to three significant figures. So that's three numbers from the start. 21.4. So that is your speed of the car in miles per hour.